Welcome again. This is Nasim Kayum, Assistant Professor at the Department of Engineering Sciences, AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. So we were discussing about uh, introduction to thermal engineering. So, so far we have discussed about uh, working fluid and its the thermodynamic systems. So we came uh, type, types of systems we need to discuss here. So there are basically, so three types of systems here. Closed system, open system, and isolated system. So, what is closed system? So, a system in which only energy transfer takes place, you see here, across the boundary, but no mass transfer takes place, and mass of the system remains constant. Such a system is called as a closed system. This is a system that a system in which only energy transfer takes place across the boundary, but no mass transfer takes place yet. So it is nothing but mass is constant in it. So example of such system is hot water stored in a tank and a cylinder with movable piston. This can uh, example showed here. Here mass is constant and energy transfer may take place, which is nothing but a closed system. And uh, when coming to open system, a system in which both mass and energy transfer takes place across the boundary. Such a system is called as open system. Example is IC engine. It is nothing but an internal combustion engine. And we see here, this is a system and this is a boundary and these are its surrounding. So here, both mass and energy they are in which uh, this is a system in which both mass and energy transfer takes place so this is to be a system and heat and work will uh, as the output and mass is also uh, we can expect as the output and if we give mass in then we have to expect we can expect mass output and if we give heat input we can expect heat output of the system then such a system we can be regarded as a open system. Example of example is internal combustion engine. So why we consider as an internal combustion engine means if we are giving you know uh, what uh, input system. So we we already said that working fluid is nothing but a, a petrol and diesel are called as a working fluids in which it contains energy. So these are the input substances. Input energy we are giving to the engine or automobile. So heat input we are giving and heat output it is delivering in terms of transmission system, right? So it is an open system. And uh, the last one is isolated system. It is a system in which neither energy nor mass transfer takes place across the boundary. Example is thermoflask. So as I told you, this, uh, we will generally, this thermodynamics, all uh, we will generally we will see in our day to day lives. Just we have to maintain our, uh, you know, we have to maintain consciously. We have to observe it. So, when we see our thermo flask, it is an isolated system, right? So, uh, where uh, neither energy nor mass transfer takes place here. So, isolated system in which there is no interaction between system and surroundings. So this is a system, this is the boundary. So this is the surrounding. It is of fixed mass and energy and hence there is no mass and energy transfer across the system boundary. So since we have given example of the thermal flux, so it is easily understandable that uh, uh, in thermal flux, generally neither uh, energy nor mass transfer takes place. So, such a system is called as a isolated system. So in our next slide, we will discuss about uh, further about the thermal engineering concept. Thank you.